Hello, Hi-Fi aficionados and vintage gear fans. I'm about to take you on a journey of repair and restoration of a set of very special separates, the Yamaha B2 amplifier and the Yamaha C1 preamplifier. Both of these units, along with a set of NS1000 Yamaha speakers, come from a uh, recording studio. Um, they are bought and used for that purpose. That's uh, where they spend all their uh, life. Uh, they've been off duty for about 15 years now, um, spending uh, that time pretty much in storage, move, being moved around from place to place. Uh, their owner asked me to help him um, experience the musical bliss he was able to hear back in his days uh, in his tenure at the studio. Um, I'm not surprised that, um, you know, recording engineers, uh, professional recording engineers would choose um, these units as a standard frame of reference for, um, uh, for recording studio duty. Um, I have another couple of uh, B1 amplifiers that come from, a, a re they're retired and come from my uh, LA recording studio as well. And so I'm not surprised then for those of you that had the opportunity or the privilege to listen to uh, these, you're, you, you're probably pretty well aware of the uh, synergy and the musicality of the sound they produce. Uh, both of these have uh, vertical field transistors, uh, VFETs, and they're very unique in that sense uh, because of the sound they produce, uh, VFETs have very triad-like, very similar, very tube-like sound. And probably that's why the softness of sound, it's probably why a lot of people just love these. Fortunately, they're getting rarer and rarer because uh, bifets are no longer made. And when they die, they die. They're used as um, door stoppers, I guess, or heavy paperweights. Um, and both of these come from a technician that diagnosed them as such. Unfortunately, um, that is sometimes the case with these. They end up in a wrong place and they just, um, then they cease to live any longer. Um, the B2 amplifier was diagnosed to, with having all eight VFETs fried. The C1 preamplifier was, after an attempt at repair of the tone control board, uh, the tone control board is completely unresponsive. Uh, that usually means that either we're lucky and there's just a switch that can be cleaned. Uh, it couldn't be cleaned, with, couldn't be reactivated. Re, did not re-engage uh, just by spraying the oxide, which is probably what the repairman try to do um, needs to be clean and if that's the case then we're lucky uh, worst case scenario we may have a bad VFET of two or two on that board but um, we're going to talk about and we're going to try to cross that bridge when we get there in this video we're going to primarily focus on the B2 uh, the repair and restoration of the B2 the C1 warrants its separate video and or video series and we're going to go through the repair and restoration of c1 later um now going back to the b2 um b2s never go bad like that they like it's almost impossible for all eight bfs to go bad at once in a v2 v2 from a natural um root cause there are unnatural root causes where they end up on a tech bench and they test these the wrong way and they can fry old transistors. Um, apparently this is the case here where they were misdiagnosed, but I don't think they're dead. I think they're simply just tested with a, with a diode test. A diode test was performed, they're diagnosed as dead because they're most likely tested as a um, bipolar junction transistors as BJTs and when you test the VFET as a BJT you will diagnose it as dead because between drain and source they're, uh, they're shorted they, they're going to show as being shorted 
And so I, I am very optimistic of the fact that I could probably restore and re repair and restore that B2. Um, that said, I will be taking uh, the B2 apart and I will put the C1 away for now and I will come back so then we could go through the major components of the B2, uh, talk about um, things that usually go bad with the B2. Um, we're gonna go maybe to the uh, board level details. I'm, I don't know, maybe at some point I may even go through some granular, uh, more granular details that go to the component level details. Uh, but it's going to be a more comprehensive review and more comprehensive repair than what I've seen so far uh, published anywhere. Uh, so um, stay tuned. I will be right back as soon as I have that B2 completely taken apart. Um, talk to you later.